I'm going to show you six of my favorite features and tools on the Korg Volca sample. Along the way, I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to use these tools and features to enhance your sound design and performances. We'll be using stock samples, which means that they came preloaded onto the Korg Volca. No need to go and get your own samples, but if you want to, I've got a bunch of free sample packs that you can load onto your Korg Volca sample or just use in your everyday music production. Let's start by making a really basic house beat. In my first slot, I'm going to select a kick drum. I'll go to step mode and put that kick on the one, the five, the nine, and 13. I'll go over to slot two and get a clap. Go to step mode, put that on steps five and 13. Let's also put it on 16. On slot three, let's find an open hi-hat. I'll go to step mode and put that on steps three, seven, 11, and 15. Let's find a closed hi-hat sample. Let's put that on steps two, eight, 10, and 16. On slot five, let's find ourselves a crash. Let's go to step mode and put this on every step. Sounds a little harsh and a little annoying right now. So what I'll do is just take the volume down to about 110 and I'm going to take the decay down to about 15. Sounding pretty good so far. We've got a basic house beat. To make this more interesting, let's take the swing all the way up to 20. And what you'll see is that it gives it more rhythm. So here it is with no swing. And with the swing turned up to 20. To show you the swing on the more extreme end, let's take it all the way up to about 60. As you can hear, it's nudged certain steps so much that they are actually clashing or overlapping with other steps. So let's take it back down to 20. On slot six, why don't we add a piano or other sort of instrumental sample? I think this organ will work, but let's take the decay down. Around 40 is good. Let's put that on the three, the seven, the nine, the 11, 12, and 15. Another feature of the Korg Volca sample that I really love is the ability to isolate the low and high frequencies. Let me demonstrate. We've got our bass on the left and treble on the right. Let me show you what happens when I turn down the bass. Listen to what happens to the kick drum. I love this feature for doing transitions while I'm performing a track. Now let's do the same with the treble. Another thing you can do that I really enjoy is turning both up and down at the same time. Not only is the bass and treble adjustment helpful for transitions, but it's also really useful for quote unquote mastering and mixing your pattern. Let's say you want to emphasize those hi-hats a bit more. I'll turn up the treble just a little bit. But maybe I want a really, really bumping kick drum, then I'd turn up my bass.
Another feature that you really need to know is the reverb mix feature. To put reverb on this sample, I'll hold function, reverb, and hit slot six. And as I play the pattern, I'll gradually turn up the reverb mix. One thing to note about the Korg Volca sample is it doesn't actually give you the dry signal when you put reverb on, only the wet signal. However, I find that the reverb is super useful for making transitions while playing your track. Let me demonstrate. I'll put the reverb mix all the way back down and I'll play my track. And as I play the track, I'm going to turn down the bass and turn up the reverb mix. Next, I'll turn down the reverb mix as I bring my bass back up. Reverse is another interesting feature that I really like to use while performing. It's really simple to use. All you have to do is play your track, hit function, reverse, and then hit the samples that you want to reverse. Let me demonstrate. I'll start by reversing just the kick drum and the snare. Here's the beat without the reverse. Now I'll reverse the kick and the snare by holding function, reverse, and hitting slots one and two. This is another really cool tool for transitions. Let's take that reverse off for a second. As I play my track, I'll turn the reverse on and off. It also sounds kind of cool when you just reverse all of the samples. Another great tool is the speed feature, and not just for pitching our samples up and down by means of speeding them up and slowing down, but as a sort of sound design and performance tool. Let me show you by putting in some percussion. Let's go to slot seven and find a percussion sample. Let's put that on steps one, three, four, six, eight, nine, 11, 13, 14. That's a little loud. Let's turn that down to about 110. And what I'll do is exit step mode. I'm going to turn on motion sequencing by holding function and clicking step 12. And I'm actually going to record some motion sequencing by pitching up the sample as the pattern plays. So I'm going to hit record. As you can hear, the Korg Volca sample has recorded the increase in pitch through the pattern. If I want to remove that increase in pitch, I'll just hold function and turn motion sequencing off. But you have to remember to turn your sample back down to its original pitch. To put it back on, I'll hold function, hit motion sequencing. Turn it off, turn it on. Turn it off, turn it on. One thing to know is that if you do turn motion sequencing off, you will remove it for every pattern for which you have motion sequencing. Another great feature is the control of the high cut frequency. This is a great sound design tool for when you have certain samples that are just a little too harsh in that higher range, or you can use it as a performance tool with motion sequencing by opening and closing that high cut filter. Let's try it out with this percussion we just added. I'll add back in the motion sequencing and I will adjust the high cut frequency as I play it.
To record that, I've already got motion sequencing enabled, so I'll hit record. And while I play, I'm going to close that high cut frequency filter. And again, to turn motion sequencing off, I'll hold function and turn it off. Of course, I can still manually adjust the high cut frequency if I want to. Let's use some of these features during a performance. Let's start by muting the kick and bringing that treble and bass all the way down. I'm also going to mute the percussion. <laughs> 